I just had to share what this new client wrote to me. I got her full permission to share this anonymously. I'm going to call her Sarah, which isn't her real name. So Sarah articulates something that's very relatable. She puts words, eloquent words, to the intense struggle many of us have with our food and body. And I also want to look at some of the specific words she uses because they help us know when we're ready for change, when change is possible, when that door is open. As you listen, see if you can hear the language that tells us she's ready for change. And in case we haven't met, I'm Nina Mandelson. I'm a body peace coach, and I help women end the war with their food and body so that they can truly feel at home in their own skin. So here's what Sarah said. And, and honestly, I've heard this many, many times in different ways in my work, but wow, she sums it all up in such a great way, and you might relate. I've struggled with my weight and my self-image for decades. I'm starting yet another year wanting to make a change and needing to focus on my wellness and healing. I've tried so many diets in the past that I honestly have no idea what or how I'm supposed to eat. I'm exhausted with restriction and deprivation as a solution. I've been beginning to think about what life would be like if I didn't punish myself with food or use it to numb my feelings. I'm also much more aware that I don't treat myself as I would a friend at the same weight. I recognize that I hold biases about weight that have been reinforced by our culture and I know they are wrong. I want to feel well and strong. I'm ready. It's relatable, right? She names this endless diet cycle, how it leaves us in confusion and exhaustion. She speaks right into the desire, the hope the future, right? And of body liberation, of body peace, when she talks about what would life be like if we felt, if she felt like she was a friend instead of being in a punitive, restrictive, ignoring, shaming, blaming relationship with herself. And her ending, I want to feel well and strong. I am ready. I want to feel well and strong. That's change talk. And I'm ready. That's commitment talk. I'm thinking about, right, possibility. It's very powerful. Change talk is, comes out of motivational interview, interviewing. It's a psychotherapeutic approach that helps us make changes that we truly want in our lives. And I'm always looking for that change talk in my clients and in myself because it's potent. Our change and commitment talk tells us there's an open door for us. We may, of course, need support getting through there. But keep your ears open for your own desire, your own change talk. It's a powerful indicator that there's a readiness. As always, I'd love to hear how this lands for you and if you relate to what Sarah is saying. Thanks.